Hey, but look, another thing that happened, well, you know, that's known the chicken in. Did Trill ever have the chicken in? Chicken, well, we don't, I, I honestly don't even know what chicken in is. And chicken, I, like. And I can speak for everybody else with Trill Entertainment. Mm -hmm. I ain't do no more chicken in. We don't even know what that is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, nah, not us. Because I did the interview with Big Head, like, man, we ain't chicken and we mostly tap in. Like, if we need smoke or of something. Course we're going to tap in. Tap, see, tapping in and checking in is two totally different things. Tapping in mm -hmm. is pretty much getting at somebody that you know from down there in that area that you with. Nah. The other version of that is getting at somebody who you don't know, somebody that thinks they the big dog down there and need to be hollered that. Mm -hmm. That's checking in. Nah, we ain't never did that. We ain't never did that. I feel like mm, most street dudes, they'll, they'll try to extort the rapper. But see, like if a basketball player going to see them or something, they ain't going to tell them that you got to check in. Man, a lot, nah, bro. Because a lot of, a lot of this was a misunderstanding with that chicken and stuff, bro. Most of them dudes, it wasn't about getting no money from nobody. Them dudes was just like, they wanted you to f with them. Okay. They felt like they the big dog in the city. You come to their city, you need to f with them. They just want to f with you, just want to go hang out with you at the club, take some photos. Man, they, they don't want, well, 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 then again, I can't speak for nobody else. I don't know what they're doing, them niggas. Mm -hmm. They probably, you know, I can't say they ain't making them niggas come out, but you're not, not truly in time. Nah. I feel like this. If you're a big dog in the city, like, hey, Fox, like, you're in the town, you know, come take some pictures with the kids or something like that. Come. That, that's, that's how I feel. If I, if I was in that position, that's what I'd do. I'd be like, hey, I would consider that tapping in. Shit, yeah. tapping in with the community. I, I, yeah. That's why I ain't going to be like, oh, you got to come hang with us. I don't care about you hanging with me. I'm, gonna, checking in. I'm a grown ass man. I don't care about another grown ass man hanging with me or not. Just don't know if I got a little program for the kids. I'm, I'm, I don't know. People different, though. Some people do care about a grown ass man hanging with them. Oh, yeah? You ever had an experience like that? Of course, of course, of course. Explain it. It's just some promoters, bro. Some promoters feel like, I guess they feel like because they paying you, because they paying you, you are um, you obligated to do a whole lot of stuff they want you to do. Yeah. When that's not abs that's not necessarily true. You know what I'm saying? You book an artist, you book an artist to come do a, a performance. Now, if he chooses to go do a mile run, go see some kids, go go do this and go do that, that's on him. But if he ain't for that. That's what it is. That's that's not what you paid them for. Okay. My contract says performance. Mm -hmm. That's what they say. You got the time. You got a, a, a time limit on my performance and everything. And I stick to that. You know what I'm saying.